name Jay Sun. I'm an artist from the Bronx. I'm a rap artist on the come up. I'm still on the come up. <laughs> from when I really, really started, like, like maybe like six. But at the end of the day, what I tell everybody is that, you know what I'm saying, you gotta be a fan of hip hop before you get involved with it. So, you know what I'm saying, all my life I've been involved with it, you know what I mean? For like six years now, five, yeah, like five or six years, you know, we've just been going on. It's crazy, it's pretty ironic, you know what I'm saying, I'm in the hood, just like everybody else, growing up in the hood, struggling, you know what I'm saying, on the corner, playing the corners hard, and we bored. I, I used to love listening to instrumentals. I used to listen to instrumentals with my with my brother Chino. He's actually from Bean Town, and we used to freestyle all the time. We used to be like, yo, put that shit on pad, you know, on the pad and record it. <clears throat> and they said like, nah, man. I said, you know, what I'm saying that's not me. You know, what I'm saying I was the shy type of dude. So um, one day I just called my uncle June and I'm like, yo, yo, you know, I want to start this shit. He was like, what's up with that? And I was like, I just want to, you know, what I'm saying get into the music. All right, book some time. Let's do it. So we just booked some time, we did it. We was actually recording for about two or three weeks. And it just picked up from there. A lot of people started feeling it. Um, I linked up with Triple Sace. He was a former member of Terror Squad. And we did a song called Get Money. After the song was done, I was like, I was on a, on a small tour with him and Cuban Link out in Orlando for like two or three weeks. And it, it just went on from there. It was like nonstop, like we just went in. I met Triple Sace. Um, by a cousin of mine, Manny. He was also involved with the movement at the time, um, Fresh. So I met Triple Sace through him. Me and Triple Sace actually recorded our first record on my birthday. <clears throat> it was a good record. And we went, you know, we, and then I met Cuban through him. So it was like, you know, it was all mutual. Everybody knew each other. Like, we always knew somebody that was involved with somebody, somebody that knew somebody. Like, I know your cousin, I know you, you know what I mean? It just, it just gave me that boost. They gave me that boost, like, I was just like, damn, man, like, people really actually like my music. Like, they actually really listening to my music, and I was like, wow. So it really gave me a lot of energy. It gave me motivation. Um, you know, they got me a few paid um, um, verses with a few other artists from overseas. That right there was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? I could finally support my family with um, doing something positive instead of the negative, because you know the negative, you can't retire from the negative. The Land Gorillas is a movement, which I started, so that um, artists, DJs, producers, promoters, could just all come together and just be one. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't about a Latin thing, because I had other artists that wasn't Latin, part of the movement. You know, my brother Raizi, my brother um, Party Artie, rest in peace. You know, I had a lot of people that wasn't Latino, that was part of the movement, that was supportive because the movement was so strong at the time. It was like 50, 60 artists repping this movement. And it still is. It's just that, you know, we're on another level right now. And the Gorillas, it was not built on Jay Sun. It was just built so that everybody could rock out. So it's not like it got, you know, padded or nothing. It was just like, yo, listen, this is the name and we're gonna run with it. And you know, we got a good response off of it. You know, we had Angie Martinez, my man Monse on High 97. They shouted us out a few times. Um, DJ Pro Style, you know what I'm saying? So it was a good it was a good thing. I think, you know, I, I accomplished what I was trying to accomplish and was to bring a lot of people together that before I got involved, they wasn't together at all. They wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I don't know money or F that, uh, you know, whatever. With shout out to my man Diego from MOB House which played the major part of it, major part of it. He brought it to Chile, you know what I'm saying? We got it in Sweden, Michigan, LA. You know, it's a big movement. The work ethic is crazy, well, you know what I'm saying? When it's time to play, it's time to play, but I'm mostly into the working part of it. I'm always in the studio, you know, I'm barely home. You know what I'm saying? My, sometimes, you know, my daughter comes to the studio just to spend time with me because, I mean, at the end of the day, I gotta put this first because this is where I'm making my money, you know what I'm saying? This is work. So without this, I can't supply for my kids. So, you know what I mean? I'm always there though. I'm, you know, I'm banging out songs daily. Music is, you know, music is me, you know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people, you know, you're right, a lot of people chose to go other, other routes. You know, as a kid, as growing up, I wanted to be a basketball player, football player, something like that. I wasn't always into the doctor, the fireman kind of, you know, kind of thing. But, um, you know, when that ain't work out, you know, I dropped out at an early age. 
from school, you know, which I advise, you know, the youth not to do because, you know, you, know, you need school no matter what you're trying to do. You need your school. You know, I dropped out at an early age. I tried to go another route, and that route, you know, ain't work. And then when I found music, you know, I discovered the talent that I really didn't know I had. So, like, I was like about 18 around there, and I'm like, damn, like, I really could go in. So, you know, I chose to go that route. And it's been good, you know what I'm saying? God's blessed me, it's been a blessing ever since, so I can't complain. You know, it's slow, but sometimes slow is better than nothing. Make sure this is something you wanna do, because it's hard. You, you see, like, people see the, the fly cars, they see these rappers hopping out of phantoms and, and buying all these bottles in the club. That all that all that is fake. This is like a like a all that is like a movie bro, you know what I'm saying? So I would tell them like just to be easy, make sure this is what you wanna do. And if you're gonna do it, like go hard. You understand what I'm saying? Because like I said, man, it's a tough road. You know what I'm saying? Be wise of what you're doing. Um read on everything. Don't just go signing no contracts because you know what I'm saying? These people could give you two thousand dollars today when they're gonna make, you know, twenty or thirty by next week all for you. So, you know, just get you gotta you gotta be smart with your business. Like me myself, I made a lot of mistakes, you know, as growing. But like, you know, experience is like the name we give our mistakes. So we go we go as we learn, you know what I'm saying? But I would definitely tell them, like, do your thing, you know, stay strong because it's a process. When you're in the music industry, it's a process, a lot of work. Sometimes you get a short pay, sometimes you don't get nothing at all. Like we don't went on tour where we had to come out our own money. So now I go from from paying, not paying the bills to going on tour to pay for my own stuff with me and my family and then coming home, they're like, damn, I ain't got nothing. So, you know, just take your time and just study what you're trying to do, man, get your business right. You know what I'm saying? So you can be all right later on in the long run. You gotta stay relevant. You know what I'm saying? If, if 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 this dude right here is doing two songs, you gotta come and crank out five. You gotta stay relevant. You gotta keep the people talking about you. Because whether it's positive or negative, it's still all good because if they not talking about you, it's a problem. So you really gotta, you know, you gotta work hard. Not stay in the studio. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? If you're used to doing two songs a day, do five, do six, get, you know, collaborate with a lot of people, come together because you don't win as one. You know what I'm saying? We win together as a unit. You don't you don't go to war with one person. You know what I'm saying? You go to war with a, with a lot of people behind you. So at the end of the day, to stay stable in the industry, for me to stay stable, I just gotta stay relevant. I gotta keep shooting videos. I gotta keep putting out mixtapes, whether it's every quarter I'm putting out a new tape. I gotta put digital albums out. I gotta work on singles. I may have to work with people I don't wanna work with sometimes, but it's what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? To stay relevant. Big wins poking out. Got these groupies in the studio choking out. Stroking down about the nut. Mommy better open mouth. Then she gets the best part of her night. The foul shit that this bitch probably your wife. From BX to the bean. Y'all motherfuckers gotta know. Where I'm from, everybody's like he gotta blow. Why they acting like killers and shit makers in the Latin gorillas? Stay stacking that squilla, nigga. Honey, ma. Get set. We getting money. Them killers is on deck. Before you make the move, you better think about it Cause when we react, you got no time to think about it Honey, your mom, get set, get set. We getting money, them killers is on deck yeah.